Hi guys, and welcome back to another video in the series, 5 things you might not know about After Effects. You really enjoyed the previous one, so I thought I'd drop another that might help you even more. Let's get started. This one is a real-time saver when it comes to precise curve editing in the graph editor. For example, here I've already enabled time remapping on the layer and created several keyframes. As usual, I'm ready to select those keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, and then open the graph editor to start adjusting the curve for smooth speed ramps. But what if I told you this method isn't the most accurate way to easy ease keyframes and adjust curves in the graph editor? Let me show you what I mean. In the graph, we usually start by adjusting the handles, but when you pull one handle, for example this one, the other side doesn't follow, which makes it a bit annoying to fine-tune the curve. If the curve isn't perfectly smooth, your speed ramp won't look as good. Now let me show you how to make it so that when you pull one handle, the other automatically follows your movement, creating a perfectly smooth and accurate curve. Once you've created the keyframes, don't press F9 on the keyboard. Instead, go straight into the graph editor. Here make sure to click on time remap to highlight the entire curve. Then simply click this icon to convert the keyframes to auto bezier. Now try adjusting the handles your curve will be much smoother and 100% accurate. This is because when you pull one handle up or down, the other one automatically follows, giving you a perfectly smooth curve. The second tip is about speed ramp keyframes and the curve, since many of you have asked me on Instagram why your video goes black when creating a reverse speed ramp, videos becomes black right at the middle keyframe. To fix this, select the middle keyframe, open the graph editor, and adjust the timing by moving it one frame backward, and that's it. Alternatively, you can select the middle keyframe directly and simply drag the time remap value back by one frame. Next one is about the black screens we often encounter when downloading VFX clips, like explosions or other effects, that come with a black background. To remove green or blue screens, we normally use the keel eyed effect, but that doesn't work with black backgrounds. You might have tried changing the blending mode to screen to remove it, but then the VFX can look strange or washed out. Instead, don't change the blending mode. Simply apply the color range effect to the layer with the black background. Then select the eyedropper tool with the plus and click on the black area to remove it. To smooth out the result, adjust the fuzziness and other settings below, and you're good to go. This one is a cool trick if you love looping videos. If you've been looping your clips by duplicating them several times, stop doing that. You can achieve the same result much easier with a simple expression. Right click on the video you want to loop, go to time, and select enable time remapping. Now hold alt on your keyboard and click the time remap stopwatch icon. This opens the expressions editor. Next type loop out and select it from the suggestions. To create a loop that never ends, simply stretch your video layer as long as you want it to be. The last one is about creating a mask perfectly centered on the screen. For example, if you select the ellipse tool and draw a circle mask using only your mouse, it will probably look uneven and won't be centered, meaning you'll have to manually adjust it until it's perfectly round and centered. But there's a faster way. Make sure your mouse pointer is right at the center of the screen, then start masking while holding both control and shift on your keyboard. This will create a perfect, centered circle instantly. So those were another 5 tips. If you found this video useful and learned something new, hit the like button, and I'll drop another 5 tips to help you with your edits very soon. As a bonus, and following AM Film tradition, at the end of this series, I recommend downloading the AM Film UI panel, which I created completely free for AM Film subscribers. The link is in the description, and make sure to check the tutorial on how to install and use it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.